Hey guys, what's up? So recently I've been asked to do a tutorial series on Dijkstra's algorithm. Uh, here you can see in this example project I have, uh, I did it in about one day. Um, I have a grid with cubes, some are raised higher than others. So I don't know if you can tell, but some are raised higher than others. And uh, right off the bat you'll notice there's numbers that are kind of hard to read, so I also have color coding. The colors and the um, numbers mean the same thing. So, color, uh, this is the origin point. So, we're starting from this corner point. Let me see if I can bring it closer. Yeah. Okay, so, it's from here, from that corner. What we are doing is we're saying from this point, find the best route from here to every other point on the map. So, from zero. Or from here to here, it, um, it knows that the furthest it'll be is 56. So these numbers signify how many steps it'll take to get from the origin to the specified square or cell or node. Now um, I have them with randomly generated weights. That means to walk from one to the other takes more than others, so uh, they're given random weights, and I show the weights by the height. So to go to a really high cell, it takes 10 units of walking, or something like that. Alright, so um, let me just go ahead and show you guys a little bit. Now first of all, this is all randomly generated, the heights, or sorry, yeah, the heights and stuff. Now if I click somewhere else, it'll begin pathfinding from there. So you can see it change all the time, it's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so I will shortly be doing a tutorial series on Dijkstra's algorithm. Uh, this is Dijkstra's algorithm. It's kind of a weird implementation, I think. Uh, it uses a queue primarily. Um, I've done this before with a slightly different method where I used, or I invoked methods in different, um, different classes, so each node, in my old implementation, each node had a script, um, but this way is a little better. Um, it's more conservative on space, and it's really all compressed into one script. So I have two public classes that I have to use, but yeah, um, before I publish this script out, I wanted to work on it a little bit to make it easier to read, because right now it's kind of hard to read, kind of hard to understand. So I'm just going to work on that a little bit, but I wanted you to know that I have a working version of Dijkstra's algorithm, uh, my own implementation, and I will be sharing it very shortly and explaining every part of it. Okay, so thanks for watching and have a great day.